Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a drama, sci-fi, thriller Black Mirror episode from 2011, titled The Entire History of You. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Liam is at a job appraisal. He is questioned whether everything is going fine and he reassures them. He gets in a cab where an ad is playing on a transparent screen. He isn't sure how the appraisal went, so he pulls out a tiny remote and watches it back multiple times, paying attention to their expressions and everything they say. A device behind his ear called Grain is projecting the memory straight to his eyes in greater detail. As he is boarding a flight, he is asked by security to rewind his last week. The computer checks every person he has interacted with and he is cleared for the flight. His wife Fionn is at a dinner party where Jeff is watching back a memory from his stay at a five-star hotel. He says the memory is ruined because of a frayed carpet. Liam arrives and is welcomed in by Lucy. They make small talk and she hands him a drink. As he goes into a room he sees his wife talking to someone. She comes up and says he's arrived early and asks how the appraisal went. Jonas walks up and introduces himself. The guests ask Liam about the appraisal and he says he's not sure how it went, so they try to pressure him into watching it together. Jonas points out how he is uncomfortable, so they should drop it. As everyone heads for dinner, Liam stays back and replays what he saw as he walked in. Lucy brings in a new guest, Hallam. They're having dinner and discussing relationships. Jonas thinks that staying with one person for an extended period of time is boring. He also mentions that even if he's in a relationship, he keeps watching redos of earlier hot times and says that everyone else probably does it too. Lucy informs everyone that Hallam doesn't have a grain. Everyone is taken aback by this and she explains that a year ago someone assaulted her and gauged her grain out, apparently to sell it to some millionaire perf. After not having it for a few days she kinda liked it. One of the guests points out that actual memories aren't reliable and can be influenced, so she couldn't go grainless. Liam and Fionn are driving home in a cab and watch back his job appraisal, trying to make sense of it. She points out how one of the interviewers drew a tick which must be a good sign, but Liam isn't convinced stating that they were huge pricks. Later Liam points out that Fionn laughed at every joke Jonas said. They arrive home and offer the babysitter to stay the night because she would have to wait 40 minutes for a cab otherwise. After she goes up to a spare bedroom they watch back the day through their kids' eyes. Liam questions his wife's interactions with Jonas. She says they only dated for a month, years ago. He says that previously she said they dated for only a week, which she denies so he pulls up a memory where she says it was a week catching her in a lie. Later, as they are making love, they are watching back a memory of a more exciting time. After she falls asleep, he pours himself a drink and stays up late watching back everything Jonas said in her response. He uses lip reading reconstruction to see what Fionn and Jonas were saying when he walked in. The babysitter wakes up and Liam asks her whether a joke Jonas said that only Fionn laughed at is funny. Fionn comes down and Liam tries to push the babysitter for a response, making her uncomfortable. Fionn is embarrassed and apologizes to the babysitter and leads her out. Fionn is frustrated but Liam asks her to sit down and just keeps playing clips from her interactions with Jonas. He points out that she gets stiff around him, but not with Jonas. He is becoming obsessed and keeps questioning her. Fionn admits that they actually went out for six months and says she downplayed it, because it happened years ago. Liam says that it wasn't years ago for Jonas and shows her the part where Jonas talks about watching back the hot parts of his earlier relationships. She tells him to sober up and leaves in frustration. He keeps drinking while watching the same clips. A bit later he gets in his car, which warns him that he shouldn't be driving in his condition. He dismisses the warning, shows up at Jonas' place and lets himself in. Liam grabs a bottle and starts drinking. Jonas says it's not cool for him to walk in like this and ask whether he needs to call Fionn. Hallam walks in and after Liam makes an inappropriate joke, she says he should leave. He takes another sip, comments on the nice room and asks if this is where he wanks to his wife. Now Jonas also asks him to leave and, as he tries to get him out, Liam hits him in the head with the bottle. Jonas wakes up in his car that's crashed into a tree with no memories of what happened after. He rewinds to see Hallam panicking and calling the police while he wrestles Jonas on the ground while screaming for him to delete every interaction with Fionn from his timeline. When this doesn't work he breaks the bottle and threatens to slice his neck. Jonas deletes them all and Liam finally leaves while screaming at Jonas to stay away from his house. He comes out of the memory, stunned at what he's capable of. He goes back home, wakes up his wife and asks her whether he is their daughter's father. Fionn acts confused so he pulls up his interaction with Jonas. Christ, what have you done? She whispers. He fast forwards to where all of Jonas' memories with Fionn can be seen and zooms in on the most recent one, 18 months ago, when she was already with Liam. Their bedroom painting can be seen in the background. T 
Tears start forming in her eyes. She says she's sorry and that it happened when Liam had walked out for five days, without even calling her and that she was drunk. He asks whether they used protection and when she says they did he asks her to show him. She says she deleted it but he keeps pushing her to show the blank gap in her timeline. She tries to delete it without him watching but he stops her and forces her to put it on a screen. She has no choice because he starts getting aggressive so she plays it back to him. She hides her face while he watches the whole thing. Theon and the painting are gone. Liam is laying in bed, replaying memories of their daughter. As he walks through the house, he reminisces of the good times they had together when they were happy. He's in front of a bathroom mirror, contemplating. He makes a cut behind his ear and takes the grain out. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.